And welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge. And this one is all about going back to your roots. This one is pretty exciting for me. I'm gonna be doing some painting on this one here. So I was thinking next April in 2018, I'm gonna be teaching a 10 day workshop on a riverboat cruise throughout France. Won't that be fantastic in April in Paris? Can you imagine that? So I started thinking about in those days, my earlier days, my roots days, I was painting a lot of cafes, French cafes, wine bottles, French cheese, you know, that kind of a thing. And I called the whole series, The, the Good Life. You know, it, it just, you know, develops all of the, you know, fruits and vegetables and, and flowers, the opulent lifestyle, the good life. You know, and so I said, that would be kind of fun to go back and relive, repaint, and revisit that subject I did a long time ago. I am so not doing that stuff right now. But I thought for a nice change for me, I'd like to go back and revisit and after all those years of painting to see how I would do it this time. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'm going to be doing this over the next couple of videos, a couple of blasts, I should say. And it's gonna be about revisiting the Good Life series again. And uh, this is how we started out. I started off, first of all, by in my sketchbook, wrote some of my goals, what I wanted this painting to be. Then, continuing on, started to develop uh, lights and darks from that original series, just really lights and darks, really loose sketching, developing the, the original format, which was a rectangle painting, and now I'm doing them into squares. So after I did that for a while, then I finally came to this conclusion. This is the loose sketch of darks and lights, and this is what I said, okay, this is what I'm gonna start. I can't wait to get started in painting. So after all that sketching, lights and darks, I have a general idea, let's get started. So I start off first by putting down an orange ground gesso. I happen to use Holbein's orange gesso. They make like 18 different colors of gesso, believe it or not. But anyway, I like their orange gesso. And I put it over the entire canvas. All right, good stuff, right? So I, and then what I do, I get that. I take gold paint, gold gesso, gold paint, anyone's gold paint, as long as it's top quality, right? The top quality gold. And with my sketchbook, I'm going to lightly sketch it all out. No details, just looking at the darks and lights. So I'm gonna block it out by looking at my sketchbook. First of all, look at the table here. Yeah, I like that shape of the table. Here we go, kind of a strange shape. I'm gonna make actually more round. Really throw off the perspective. Again, as I say, this is just sketching. I'm gonna get that bottle in there. The bottle's kind of an important part here. <laughs> There we go, comes up about here. Now, you're probably wondering why gold? You know, I first of all, I like the color. And the best part about it is, is when I do my painting, actual painting, parts of the gold peek through the colors. And it gives it that je ne sais quoi. Oh, it's a French painting, right? And here we go. There we go. Get some of the basic shapes down, yeah. Block this off. I think this is going to be the awning outside. Yeah, I like that. I'm just getting the elements down at this point, and I'm looking at the negative shapes, positive shapes. Oh, there's a chair down here too. Stick it up there. Getting real close. It's like I just got up from that chair, right, to take this picture. And tablecloth. Now the two wine bottles. We have the wine bottles down. It's an important element, so I'm gonna really make it right there. I'm not gonna mess around with this. There we go. And now, goblets of wine. <laughs> Something like that. So, again, the sketching is just a guideline. I'm not trying to make an exact, so I know where to start putting darks and lights. There we go. I like to make the wine bottle, the, the Glasses, I like it. Thin. There we, go. there we go. Now it's gonna have checkerboards in here, but I'll do that later on. Because I want some of that. There we go. And I might be even putting a mirror so I can repeat the scene. I saw that in a Vermeer painting. 
where he would paint a, a mirror in the scene and it would be him in the mirror doing the painting. I thought that was clever, so I like to mess with that kind of an idea. And that's the beginning. And now I'll let that dry and I'll start blocking in the darks and lights. So I wanted to take another peek at my sketch and compare it to the canvas and how it's coming along. Again, just a loose beginning, just so I can get a general idea of where the darks and the lights are going to be. And you're probably wondering why the orange, because it's kind of my midtone. And again, I love the gold gesso as sketching with that because that'll just start shimmering too when I add the color. Now stay tuned for the next Bob Blast. Speaking of adding color, that's what I'm gonna be doing next, color. I'm gonna determine what my color palette is and what's the composition, working on the lights and the darks. I can't wait to get started on that part. So stay tuned. And again, thanks again for watching Bob Blast and sharing them with your friends. I love your comments. Thank you so much. I love reading them. Hey, see you on the next Bob Blast. Oh, hi, here I am relaxing, thinking about next year, April in Paris. Can you imagine April in Paris? Looks like April 13th, 2024. What could be better than that? Well, how about on a deluxe river cruise boat, just for us? So it's mostly sketching and painting all throughout Paris, Givernay, and all the way up to Normandy on our own boat. What I like about it is several things. First of all, we're not gonna be schlepping around and lugging around those big easels and paint boxes. We're gonna be sketching, light sketching on location and then working and painting back on the boat. Fantastic, they take care of us. Speaking of taking care of us, the Dillmans. They put these, these programs together for me every year. They're spectacular people. The Dillmans.com, check it out. You'll see the daily 10 day uh, itinerary on this riverboat cruise throughout France. Something I'm looking forward to. I cannot wait. It's something I've always wanted to do. Jean Rene, hello. And so April 13th, 24th, and 2018th, make sure you sign up now because people are signing up. Check out Dilmas.com. Thanks for checking this out.